Reach, receive, disciple, and send. This is the mission of Christ Church United Methodist, and this past spring we've been focusing on growing as disciples. We're going to continue that this week in looking at growing as a community. This is part two of a six-part series, one each day, three-minute videos, and so I ask you to join me with me into the Bible as we now look at the forming of the very first communities of God. So we're going to go all the way back into the book of Genesis one more time and look at Abraham. You see, one night Abraham hears words from God that he needs to go and travel to a far off land. And in doing so, he will be blessed to be a blessing to the whole world. And then later, after we see he has made that journey, God comes to him again and says, Look up at the sky. Count the stars if you can. That will be the number of children, the number of your blessing. And so that promise shows that God is working from individualized communities, individual people, small gatherings, into having a community of a much broader sense. And that mission is fulfilled in the book of Exodus. And so let's turn now to the story of Moses and the Israelites. As in the book of Exodus, you hear that this community for the very first time is being centered around God and they are forming a people of God. And when this happens, they are centered around the idea of what God has done for them and then what God asks them to do. And they are overjoyed to respond, yes, God. And so in that response, they are given the Ten Commandments. And in those Ten Commandments, they hear all the ways they are to live out their lives in response to the very first commandment. You see, when we look at the commandments, we oftentimes hear the very first one as, You shall have no other God before me. But that's not the entirety. The entirety of the commandment is, Remember all that I have done for you. And because of that, have no other God before me. And so, as a community of believers here, as we gather and remember what God has done for each one of us, but also what God is asking us to do to each other, or rather, do for each other. The entire second half of the Ten Commandments, those original boundaries of what it means to live in community, are how to treat one another. As Jesus himself says, all of the commandments and all the prophets can be summed up as this. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul and your strength. But then also, love your neighbor as yourself. So, take a moment today. Remember what God has done for you, for your family, for your ancestors. But also, think really hard about how you can share that love with your neighbor. And as Jesus gave us a new commandment, love each other as I have loved you. Let us go and share, as a Christian community, the love of God that we found in Jesus the Christ. For we are a community of faith, hope, and love, serving as the hands of Christ.